So a few weeks ago, I think it's been a few months at this point in time, iOS 16 was announced and this time iOS Shortcuts, which is one of my favorite features, got a dedicated mention in the main event. So there's a lot to cover. I've been able to find a ton of new changes to shortcuts and I'm gonna show them to you today in this video. To get the obvious things out of the way, let's talk about app actions and shortcuts. With iOS 16, iOS developers can actually create shortcuts for their applications that will appear automatically in your list of shortcuts when the app is installed. This is amazing for everybody because there's a lot of people that will be introduced to shortcuts because when they first open the shortcuts application, there's no setup process. They don't need to learn anything extra. The shortcuts just appear automatically as as soon as they open the shortcuts app. And now that these automatically created shortcuts also appear in your shortcuts, your shortcut library can get a little more cluttered. So organize that, Apple has added a new section in the navigation pane that is called your shortcuts. This basically is a list of all your shortcuts that were created by you, not the ones that were automatically created by applications. Now, with that out of the way, let's talk about the changes to the UI of the application. Some of these changes are very subtle. For instance, on your shortcut tiles in your library, you do not see the number of actions anymore. As you can see, there's only the name icon in the three dots menu for each shortcut. If you long tap on a shortcut, the context menu that appears is exactly the same, but there is no preview window. It was completely useless to begin with, so now that it's gone, it's just more clean and it never needed to be there to begin with. But if it is still not as clean as you would like it to be, you now have access to a list view. Here, when you tap on a shortcut, it will open the shortcut directly to the edit screen. Speaking of which, there are a few changes to the edit screen as well. First, you should be able to notice that the name or the title of the shortcuts and the icon are not left aligned anymore. They've been moved right in the middle. And unlike iOS 15, you cannot just tap on the name of the shortcut and rename it. Instead, it opens this menu where you can tap on the rename option to edit the name of your shortcut. They just added a bunch of steps to rename a shortcut, which in my opinion is totally unnecessary. And speaking of unnecessary, this drop down menu also has a redundant share icon. I don't know what's going in Apple's mind, putting the share icon in almost every context menu that exists. Anyways, getting back to the topic, unlike the title, when you tap on the icon of the shortcut, you get to select a new icon. And this is a completely new screen this time because you can use search to find the correct icon for your shortcut. And the settings icon for each of these shortcuts has been moved from the title bar to the bottom bar as an information icon instead of a settings icon. The content of the settings are still the same as it was in iOS 15, so nothing new to talk about here. Outside of the application, there are a few more changes that you can only see when you run a shortcut. For instance, if you have a shortcut that asks for input, the text box has an updated UI. Also, you can tap outside the prompt and that would not dismiss the prompt completely. You have to actually tap on cancel to get rid of the input prompt and stop the shortcut from running any further. Let's talk about changes to automations. We did not get any new triggers. We did not get any new do not ask before running option with any of the existing triggers. So anytime you have an automation that is supposed to run when you snooze an alarm, it would run repeatedly if you repeatedly snooze the same alarm. To be honest with you, if you've been snoozing your alarms for more than two times, you guys kind of suck. I mean, get your life together, mother. Now let's talk about updated and new actions. Let's talk about notes first and then we can move to the other applications. With iOS 15, notes got a huge update, but for whatever reason, the shortcuts app never got a freaking memo that notes was going to get updated, so they never updated the shortcut actions. This time we have corrected that. Starting with tag actions, you have an action for opening a tag, deleting a tag, or even creating a tag. You can add tags to existing notes or even remove them from those notes. And similar to tags, you have a bunch of folder actions. You can now create, delete, or open a folder in the notes app. You can even move a certain note from a folder to another folder. I can imagine some unique workflows where you would tag a note with archive and it would automatically be moved to the archive folder by the end of the day. The notes action used to be able to pull only 26 of your top notes that you searched for. I don't know why that was the limitation but that has been corrected this time around because your notes action to find notes can pull more than 26 notes. Other than tag and folder actions, you also got a bunch of notes actions. You can pin or unpin notes, delete notes, and change settings for your notes. I don't know how you can use the change notes setting action Personally, I cannot come up with a workflow, but if you have any ideas, please let me know in the comment section. I'm definitely down to understand what you guys are gonna be using it for. But if you use mail, you have an action to configure mail focus filter. It allows you to get notifications only from a certain account when a focus mode is turned on. I think it is a great feature, but I wish it was compatible with some real application that people are using for mail. 
Spark, Outlook, Canary, whatever mail application, I want somebody else to implement this functionality because I think Apple is going to open this for third-party application developers as well. Otherwise, it's a great feature. And now let's talk about some of the iOS 16 features that were developed in two shortcut actions as well. So on the photo side, you got an action to remove the background from the photos or post photos directly to shared albums. There's also an action to set the parked car location manually. I think this is a good action for somebody that has a CarPlay disconnected automation like I do. This time Apple made a big deal of making iPad applications a little more like desktop style applications. They have also pushed shortcut actions in that direction. For instance, you got a resize or optimized PDF size action for the Files app. Files app now supports extension. So when you edit a file name, you can actually edit the extension of the file as well. And then you got a search files action. It sounds like a find files action, but that's different because it does not pull the file into the shortcut. Instead, it searches the files app with a certain keyword and takes you there directly. Oh, I forgot to mention that on the notes app, there is an action for writing into a note or append to a note or add to a note. All of these actions where you can enter text to a note now supports rich text formatting. So you can actually change boldness or italicize a certain part of your text and it would appear in the notes app not as just plain text like it used to until i was 16. so this is a great feature for anybody who uses shortcuts to add notes or take quick notes directly into the notes app now let's talk about actions in the shortcuts application itself actions that are core to the functionality of shortcuts have been updated and added to iOS 16. Now you have an ability to search shortcuts, create shortcuts, delete shortcuts, and open a certain shortcuts folder using shortcut actions. These are probably amazing shortcut actions that I do not have the imagination to understand how people will be using it, but there's one action that everybody has been requesting for, and it is here with iOS 16. You can now enable or disable hotspot directly from the shortcuts app well that's everything i've been able to find so far so if you have something that you've been able to find in ios 16 and is new in shortcuts and i haven't mentioned in this video you have my attention let me know in the comment section i will definitely be looking down there to find more features with this amazing update anyways thank you for watching this is geet